Hi, Ole Sunshine here. I'll be happy to show you guys how to tint the side window on a car where it's rolling up and down. So first of all, I'm using, of course, the Max Pro window film, the best window film on the market. First thing that is very important is cleaning. Again, cleaning is the main thing when you're doing window film. When I do my cleaning, I always start from inside. Again, basic rules, when you spray the window, you have to spray it from down and up. So spray it, roll it a little bit down here. And then look at my, the angle of my, of my squeegee. I'm like going up here, down there. And when I'm down here, I'll just roll it up and at the same time hold the squeegee to the glass. There you go. Small edges. I'll use my conqueror just to get in there to be sure it's very clean at the edges. Edges, especially the bottom edge here, is very, very important. Double check everything is clean behind the rubber gasket here. There you go. Everything is fine. It will be pretty wet here, but it keeps the dust on the door, which is very important. So, to the outside, I need to have my sprayer out here. And now it's time to clean the outside. Just one quick squeaky in here again. Clean it so it's nice and super clean. There you go. And again, spray it from the bottom and up. Then it's time for my window film. And again, use my extra tool, which is blowing the film to the glass. Now I have my film here, and look, I'll just slide around so it have a little overlay down here at the bottom. First thing I wanna do is to be sure everything is good here. Give it a little spray. Squidge it on the middle part here. That means do not squeeze it up here and down there. Then it's time for do your first cut, which is the bottom cut. And in this case, on this design, it's look here, that's the form. So it's actually. So what I will do, take my knife and be sure it's a stainless steel. A knife blade you have. Before I start up, I will just snap it off. Do never ever put any knife blades on the floor or it has to be safe. It's a knife. Again, take it out here and I'll start from the corner and just follow the line here to the middle. Do never ever go all the way out. If you do that, you have to raise the knife and that means you will maybe, at the first you will make a bad cut down here. At the second, you will maybe scratch the glass because when you have, if you have this one as an edge, lay the knife down. Look here, if you go out here and raise it more and more up here, how big part of the knife plates are you using? Actually only the tip out here. And that's not clever. Lay it down so you are using as, uh, as much part of the knife blade as possible. So that means cut it to the middle and then turn your easy reach or little chisel or whatever tool you use for pressuring down. I'll just change my hand here. So lay it there and then cut it from here and out. And again here down in the corner ribbit from the middle and out. That means that way. If you try to do it up here, you can maybe cut in that way. And that means a new piece of film. And then again, same technique here at the front edge, up to the corner, down to the middle, turn it, and from the bottom, and up here. Turn that way, 
from the middle and out. So now we have cut the bottom edge and the front edge. That means we need to cut this one, that one, and that one. To do that one, open the door and hold it. Be sure it's not uh, moving. And then hold it here. Lift it safely, slowly out from here. You see, I have a perfect cut down there. And then lift it out, and then just roll the window down little by little till you can see you have, I'll show it in here, till you can see you have a light gap here. So now it's back, and the window is down. And again, check everything is in. Then point in the knife there, in the light gap. And have a finger in front of your knife, just to hold the film down, so you have a nice cut at the edge of the window. And again, from the middle and out. And here, look at the angle of my knife. It's angled just a little bit. Actually, you can adjust, adjust it here. And look, when I cut it by adjusting, Look at this little tiny piece. You can actually cut it out small, tiny millimeters, just to be sure you have a perfect cut off here. So again, meet it up there and hold out here. Cut straight out. There you go. And now it's time to go down here. Because this window is angled like this. So I'll go down and find my corner again. Have a finger in front of it and lay it down. Look here, now I have actually a very bad cut here. It's not fitting to the car. So what I will do, I'll lay it down and then trim it up, trim, trim it off. There you go. In this cage here, it lend out here and I have it down there. So I'll just take a little extra part, that means the fold I'm making here, extra. It's for cutting when I've made my inside installation. Before I go in, I'll take the film off. Look here. Look at all the corners here. All the corners, I have to trim them one by one. To make a straight cut, again, use your reach here. Easy reach. Nice straight cut, and it's up in the corner here, using my nail, so I cut around my finger. Because that part here have to be, have a little curve, because over the years, when it's, we have a 90 degrees angle here, it will slowly peel off, and that's not what you want. That part will be, it will not be visual, so it doesn't matter. Make it safe so the job will last for the customer over year, a lot of years. Again, down here, I'll just take this one to make it visual. Cut around your finger. Everything is good. So before you do anything, check out all your cuts. How is it looking? You have a little tiny piece of film sticking out, so I'll just do like this. There you go. Again, cut in the plastic, not in the glass. Just double checking, and now it's time to go in. And important thing is, of course, cleaning again. I have already cleaned it one time, but I want to do it again because I've opened the window, I've opened the door, so maybe there's some, some dust added to the, to the glass. So again, spray from down and up. It's a basic rule from the down and up. In this case, I'll use my uh, Conqueror squeaky it because I want to only touch the the, the edges or the rubber part uh, one time so it's squeaky and I, it's not cleaned all the way down because I will do my inside installation now and that's mean that means when it's done uh, from here and down to here I still need to roll the window up and that means I want to clean it before I lay the film down. So that's why I will wait with the bottom part of the glass. 
Okay, now we're inside, it's time to do my installation. It's cleaned, it's ready to go. So I'll spray it on the inside first, again from the bottom and up. And now do not touch the glass. And up here, I'll not give it that much here because I don't want it to have, if there's any dust up here, to fall down here. So be careful at the top edge. So now it's time to go out here again, spray the film to take out the static uh, from the liner when you have to peel it off. I will use my biting thing here. Again, spray it to be sure there's no fingerprint. And take the liner down, but not all the way down. Now it's very important to only go down to here. So take the liner down to here. And actually here, that's the point because that point is right here. So you have to be below that one. There you go. And spray it again. Be careful at the top. Be sure there's no dry spots. I'll give it a little extra spray to be sure it's all wet. Licking my finger again to be sure there's no fingerprint in the adhesive. Lifting it out this way. Put it here. And again, blow it in. And now, here at the top edge, make it like one millimeter below, because if you're going all the way up to the edge, it will peel off, peel off over time. And that's not what you want to see. You just have a customer back, not happy, and you have to replace it. Okay, and now hold it with my thumb, like this. So hold it here, because right now, because of the water soap, it's sliding. So just carefully in the beginning, squeeze it out. Not all the way down, out here. You can see here, it's moving. Sometimes I, I spit on my I squeeze it to be sure it's wet. And at the same time, you can with your tongue feel if there are any scratches, which is pretty important for a perfect installation. Right now, I do not use a lot of pressure. That means you can still slide the film around. So here, now it's time to give it a little push, and now it's behind the gasket. Before I roll it up, I'll take my knife and cut it in here. There you go. It looks so simple, and it is when you know how to handle it in, in the right order. So everything is good here. When I want to roll my window up, before I do anything, look here, I test it. Oh, it's lifting out. You have to go a little bit down, and I do it like this. The last chance, here you go, and again, squeegee the one extra time after you have adjusted the placement. Now it's time to hold, take the line and hold it up here, and I make a little pressure on the glass and get it up. And look here, now it's glued by the liner to the film. I want to clean it on, on the bottom part here. Just give it a little spray. Take your little turbo squeegee and just clean it here because you want it to be clean right before you do the installation. There you go. And then an extra spray, just a little one, because you have a lot of water coming down now. Then hold your finger here. Lift out the liner. Take it out that way. There you go. Place it in the car. Long squeegee. And again, spray it, only to make it sliding here. And look here at the film here. Yeah. Okay, and here, to, to work this one in, I use my Easy Reach, the gold one, which is a flexible one. Look here, I'll fold it in like this. You can see it's still just softly work it in here. Bam, it's down. Super easy. And work it down. 
underneath the gasket. Here it's not finished yet. But actually, you can see here, just squeegee it like this. I use my easy reach again. And look at the fold here. It's still the same fold, it's folding around. So it is just falling underneath the gasket. You see? Super easy. Small fingers here. Worked all the way in. And you will have some small tiny fingers at the bottom. The thing is now you have to take out a little piece of window film in here. So I'll just lay my knife down flat, make a cut behind the gasket, and look here, what's coming out? A little piece of film. That makes it a lot easier to come around. Normally, it's a, it could be a struggling thing to have a light gap out here because you need just one or two millimeters here, one or two millimeters here. But actually, I saved like five to seven, maybe up to 10 millimeters to work it behind here. That means I can actually move the film that way when I do my installation in the beginning and be safe on the difficult part. So it's all in here. Double checking my edges. And then it's time just to, you can see I have some small tiny fingers right here. Again, heat gun and be careful. It's plastic, don't put any heat directly in here. Heat it here, just give it a little close to nothing. And the heat gun have to go away from the car. You're in the soft zone of the car inside. You don't want to damage your customer's car. So just work it down here. You'll see some fingers coming out from time to time. Let's just give them a little heat and then work them down. There you go, no fingers, a little one coming. There two, and there two. What you can do is you, sometimes you have a little finger here. Actually, in this case, it's perfect. But a good way to see it, open the front door and see it from outside. And then heat up the glass. At the same time, hold your finger inside the glass here. That means I have a finger on my glass when I heat the glass. To feel like okay it's getting warmer now getting warmer and the angle of my heat gun is straight in or that way never go that way you will melt that part so i'm just feeling it here okay it's getting warm just to be sure everything is sticking to the glass now there's coming a little finger actually you can heat it from outside you can see now it's growing look here look here it's growing 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 coming up bam so actually you can heat up the film from outside, which is sometimes a lot safer and easier to see fingers. So that is actually, it's a perfect installation, but it's not a big thing when you have a quality qual uh, product like, like Max Pro, you have the right tools, you have been training for a while, so do me a favor, join the training at Sign and Digital because you will get a lot of tricks. You will meet other installers. I've made uh, classes all over the world, but every time I pick up a little tricks from some of the guys, they have small, I learned a trick last time I went here at Sign and Digital about heat shrinking called the Chris Cross technique now because the guy that showed it, his name's, his name Chris. So join the training. It will make me happy. It will make you to a lot better installer. And use Max Pro Window Film. Look at that perfect job. The only thing you have to do in the end is, of course, clean the car. Make it look like a brand new car. Clean it. Even if it went to your shop dirty, clean it. Vacuum clean it. Do a little bit extra for your customer. That's important because you want your customer to come back again and again and again. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.